my beautiful people. I hope you are all having an amazing day today. If you guys are wondering if you should take counseling or if you should even try it or look into it, let me tell you about my experience in this video and I have a really juicy story time to go with this. So watch till the end. I basically had my privacy breached. It turned me off from counseling for two years. Two years where I felt like I could have really honed in and got help and heal myself right at the peak when I was feeling the utmost shit about myself. I felt like I was robbed that time because of something that the counselor did. I don't like to sugarcoat things. I like to tell you guys like it is. I'm very real when it comes to that with my advice. For anyone who is new here, hi, my name is Vero. I teach you all how to glow, grow, and thrive after trauma. So let's start healing together. Subscribe down below if you're interested. So I have spoken many times that I already do counseling. So if you're wondering if I should tell you to take counseling, the answer is yes. But I'll tell you about my experience, the good, the bad, and the ugly, because trust me, it was really, really ugly in the beginning. And I mean, ugly. But anyways, I know you guys are here for some juicy tea about what happened with me. So let's just get straight into it. So when I was first exposed to counseling, it was when I was about 21. And I just got out of that abusive relationship. If you guys want to see the story, link up here. I reported him to the cops. And basically the government services that is supposed to help victims refers you to a counseling program or counselors to help you through this time. And during that period, they actually help fund your counseling for about a year if you go through something that qualifies the need for government aid, which was my case. So I taxied over to the counseling office. There was an Uber at the time and I sat down with them and they introduced what they were here to help me with, walked me through what was going to happen. And I was just scared shitless because I just got out of a dangerous relationship and I was extremely vulnerable and I had no clue what was going on. Anxiety was pulsing through my veins and I was just a scared girl. I was just shook. I basically trusted that the counselors knew what they were doing, but the one condition that I had going into it was that I didn't want my parents to find out. I was just at a relationship with my parents where I felt like I couldn't open up to them about this kind of stuff and I felt really ashamed about what happened that I didn't really want to tell anyone in general. So they wanted to send me a bunch of like information about what forms to fill, court, any other government related stuff that needed to be involved with my situation they needed to be able to contact me and i told them strictly strictly electronic notifications or just text email just no paper trail and no phone calls i wanted to make sure that i was in control of my privacy surrounding the situation and i just kind of wanted to deal with it on my own at the time which wasn't a really great idea but at the time i just wanted to keep everything to myself this was not the case a couple days after that i got a couple letters in the mail my mom found out and i basically lied and said it was my friends and i said that my friend was too afraid to tell their parents about what was going on so i had to give them my address which was ironic because that's my case i was furious i was furious i was fuming i was like Come on guys, I told you guys I didn't want it. I didn't want them to find out. I didn't want a paper trail. But lo and behold, there's a letter at my door. I felt pretty betrayed by that. Wrote them up an email and I stated to them clearly, I don't want letters coming to my house. So I just went about my life. I was very confused and very scared still. I just felt like I didn't know what was going on. I just got out of a really bad situation and I just felt like everything was snowballing into an even worse situation. Another week goes by and lo and behold, I got another letter in the mail. <sighs> At this point, I really wanted to count on them because I felt like I didn't have anybody else, but it was hard to not be disappointed. And at this point, I just went off on them when I emailed them back. I wrote them a very long worded, kind of mean email because I was frustrated. They were supposed to be the people that were supposed to help me through this and walk me through the difficult parts of this and support me. But I felt like they couldn't even do something as simple as that. I just decided to cut all help in general, which I felt like I was robbed of. I don't live life with any regrets. What happened, I feel happened for a reason and I'm very thankful of the person I am today. So I don't feel like I have any regrets as a whole for what happened. It was just very disappointing that I couldn't take advantage of that time. That year, right after the incident, I could have had counseling covered by the government for a year. I basically couldn't have that 
for myself. I decided to cut them off because I couldn't trust them. So I just decided I wasn't gonna get any help. And I went two years without any counseling. Now let me tell you that those two years were the most ratchet years I've ever had. <laughs> I was taking all the wrong paths on trying to figure out how to heal myself and just, you know, process all the emotions that I was going through. I got into very shitty relationships after that. A lot of situationships or like ghosting and just basically attacked my self-esteem even more. I just couldn't trust anybody and I was attracting people that I couldn't trust because I didn't heal that part of myself. It sucked. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It freaking sucked going through it all alone. And I was the kind of person that was like a lone wolf at the time. I didn't trust anybody to be my friend and I didn't want to be in a relationship with anybody. I was that bitch. There was a point uh, after two years where I was like, there's something going on up here that's just not right. Because right now I am a shitty version of myself. And I'm just very glad I came into that realization. It was tough for me in my situation because I felt like I couldn't even trust counselors. So the fact that I went out of my comfort zone and decided to seek help still really meant that there was something I needed to fix in my life that I had to ignore what I was scared of to get the help that I needed. So I reached out to a counselor that I searched up from Psychology Today, BC, something like that. Basically, when you start searching up counselors, it gives you a list of what their specialty is, what kind of trauma they cover, and you kind of just sort through and see which one is the best match for you. And then I found a counselor, and I did a phone call with her, like an introductory phone call. Long story short, I didn't decide to follow through until a year later. After that year went by, I realized I couldn't do this all on my own. I was messed up. So I decided to suck it up and I called her back. She was surprised that I called her back after a year and she had my notes still after a year. So I decided to continue counseling from there and she is still my counselor to this day. It's been about a year and a bit that I've been with her and I don't regret a thing. Counseling is gonna start off ugly. You're going to be unpacking a lot of pain, a lot of darkness inside of you to someone that you're just supposed to expect is going to help you. To be honest, I suggest counseling for people who really want to do the work. If you feel like you don't want to heal and you don't want to prove yourself as a person and you don't want to put in the hard work, this isn't for you because you're just wasting someone else's time. I'd love to say that everybody should get counseling if you feel like something is bothering you, if you feel stuck, if you don't feel good about yourself, or if you're struggling with relationships and friendships in your life, you should definitely get counseling, but it'll only work if you put in the hard work. It's like training or getting a personal trainer. Like you have to put in the hard work, they're teaching you how to do it, and if you don't put in the work to get the results, you're not going to get what you're paying for. You gotta put in the work for that mental health just like you would for physical health. So to be very open, my counseling costs about $135, and originally when I started, I went every two weeks, just to give you guys a bit of an idea of what kind of money you're investing into it. But in saying that, there are alternatives out there. There's sort of like volunteer group counseling, people who just got out of school who charge a lower price. You can start sourcing cheaper options like that. I believe there's an app out there called BetterHelp that's a more affordable option too, where you have to answer a questionnaire to match with the right counselor. So so there are cheaper options out there for you if that's something that would help you. Sometimes when you reach out to a counselor, the first one you're going to reach out to isn't someone you're going to get along with or isn't someone that's going to be a great pair. And that's okay. Getting a counselor is like getting into a relationship. You're investing your time and your money and you got to make sure that they're the right one. So. I had to sort through a couple of counselors before I got to her, so I just wanna let you know that it is a process to find the right one. So what are my thoughts on counseling now? I truly feel like it has changed my life. There are things that only a counselor can point out to you because they have the knowledge and the understanding of what kind of personality you have and what kind of trauma you've went through to be able to help you out. They're there to help you, but they're also there to show you who you are. So it can get ugly if you can't accept that fact about yourself that there are some things that you need to fix. So thank you so much for listening to my story and I hope by sharing my experience you guys can kind of gauge what you want to do with getting your own counselor or even seeking help. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I will be covering more similar content like this to help you guys through your healing journey.
I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Bye.